Hi everyone, and welcome to this guide on how to prepare uh, for the PAO exam, Electrical A1, the circuit uh, exam. I prepared a playlist for 12 different questions that cover different topics in that exam. And uh, basically, I thought it might be a good idea to prepare a short guide before you start solving these questions to have an overview about the nature of those questions and how to approach how to approach them so uh, all my analysis here and all my examples are based on exams on or before 2019 uh, after that as you may know the exam become now online and unfortunately i don't have access to any questions from the online version i'd really welcome if anyone has access to those and share it with me you can email me using the email in the my YouTube channel and I would love to solve some of those examples and update them the playlist now again you were asked in the old version to solve five out of six questions I'm not sure again if someone knows the information please write it in the comment so that everyone can benefit from this are you allowed to skip uh, some of the questions or you have to answer all all the questions to those who did the exam before or will do the exam kindly provide us with this information now the six topics are these are the six topics that covered in the exam in this video i will cover the first five topics and these are the five topics that i covered actually in the playlist the last topic i didn't cover it and i will not talk about it uh, the reason for that is the, uh, is the following the first five topics are basically standard topics in any uh, circuit one course in undergraduate uh, program but the second topic is uh, more advanced and usually it's covered in circuit two and requires information about Laplace uh, transform and Laplace inverse. So if I were you, I will spend my time trying to excel in these five questions and I will not really bother much uh, to, uh, to know about the last, uh, the last topic because if you do very well in the five questions, this will guarantee you that you will do uh, very uh, well in the exam and you don't need to invest a lot of time to learn Laplace and Laplace inverse, which maybe you've completely forgot it at this, at this time. So let's start one topic at a time. Let's start with the circuit reduction. Uh, I went through many questions in the circuit reductions and I found all of them, usually the resistors, they are neither connected in series nor in parallel. So you have to do either delta to y conversion or y to delta conversion. So for example, these three resistors are connected in delta. These are also, and these are connected in delta. So you won't be able to do any circuit reduction without, without doing this. In the uh, course description, you will see the link for two videos. Uh, I solved two of those uh, questions. But this is the key point to, to do the delta Y or Y delta conversion. The second category of the questions is DC analysis. Most of the time, you are asked to do nodal analysis where you want to find the node voltages of uh, DC, uh, DC circuits. But also I found sometimes they ask for mesh analysis. And also in one time I found, I found them ask about superposition. So I, you will have examples for each category of these uh, DC analysis in the, uh, in the uh, uh, video description. Third one is the AC analysis. So this is a DC where your supply are basically a constant voltages DC. Here is your supply is an AC, it's a sinusoidal. And I found two different categories of the question. Either you will have one supply and this supply is either in sine or cosine. So there is a way to handle this. And sometimes you have two different supplies. One is cosine and one is sine. And there is some pre-processing you have to do before you pro you proceed and solving the question uh, this ac questions and i have example of this type and another example in this type in the video uh, description the third one is about thevenin again in thevenin there are two different times i found sometimes you are asked to find the thevenin equivalent for an ac circuit like this one or for a dc circuit like uh, this one uh, for an AC circuit uh, or DC circuit with only 
independent sources or with also dependent and independent sources. You have an example for each type in the video description. The last question is about the first order transient analysis, which is different than the one I told you that I would, if I were you, I would skip it, which is the second order that requires the Laplace. Here, it does not require Laplace. In the first order circuit, you will have either a capacitor or an inductor. In the second order, you will have both a capacitor and an inductor. Now, in most of the questions I have seen, I found only capacitor. I didn't find any question as an inductor. So I solved two examples uh, of uh, those types of the, of the capacitor. And there is a method called the step-by-step -step method, which is different than the differential equation approach. I try to uh, avoid using the differential equation approach because that requires some math. Again, you might have forgotten all this math, but the step-by-step -step approach is a very easy, straightforward approach. And we usually teach it to the students. They don't have any background about differential equations. So uh, this is basically uh, some uh, overview about the uh, and the video. And I'd love to, if you can share your back, your knowledge, your experience with the exam in the comments or by emails so that to help me and to help your colleagues in the future to update this uh, list of questions and update these videos. Thank you, everyone, and I wish you uh, a successful and passing the, the exam.